Hello everyone, my name is Emmanuel and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to add a blog to your WordPress website. So this is the example WordPress website that I made. Um, you can see it has a home, about, services, and contact page, but it doesn't have a blog page. So maybe you have a website similar to this and you want a blog and you want to be able to add blog posts. Uh, I'm going to show you how to do that. So the first thing we're going to do after you log in is go to the top left and click on your name to go to your dashboard and from there we're gonna go to the pages section and we're gonna be creating a new page that will be your blog so let me exit out of here and let's click add a new page and you can call this page whatever you want uh, so let's say you have a cooking website it can be recipes or if you have a news website it can be stories or you can just call it blog or articles I'm just going to call it blog and we're going to click publish and depending on the theme that you have your blog might look different um, but this is it, it'll be created the same way so we've created the blog page um, so if you come back here to our website go back to the front uh, we're actually not going to be able to see it yet because it's not in the menu so we need to add this page to the menu as well so let's go back to the dashboard and we're going to go to appearances and then menus. Let's click there. Okay, perfect. Make sure you, if you have more than one menu, make sure you've selected your, your main menu. It might have a different title. Um, so here's our menu and we can see that there's a blog page here for recent. If you don't see your blog page, you can also click view all and it'll show you all the pages of your website. So we're going to check the blog page you just made and click add it to the menu. And it's going to add it right here at the bottom. Uh, you can drag and drop where you want it to be on your menu. You can even make it a sub menu like this. Um, I, but I'm going to make it part of the main menu by putting it here in the middle. Uh, and I'm going to put it right here after the about page. So we're going to click save. Okay, and after it's saved, if we go back to our website, we will see that now it's right here in the menu. And if we click on the blog page, we're gonna see that there's a page, but it's actually empty. There's no actual blog or content uh, there yet. So we actually have to create uh, uh, the settings, the right settings to make sure that the website knows and WordPress knows that this is gonna be a blog section. So we're gonna go back to our dashboard and now we're gonna assign that page to be a blog page, which is different than a normal page that you would uh, design. So to do that, we're going to scroll down to settings and we're going to go to reading. All right, here we see that we have our home page, which is a static page. And then you'll see you have an option here for a post page. The post page is your blog page. So every time you create a new post, that's the page that it's supposed to go to. And we want all of our posts to go to our blog. So let's check blog and then let's scroll down and hit save. All right, there you are, it's saved. So let's go back and check how it looks uh, now. It should look a little bit different, but it might still be a little empty. So let's go to blog again. And we see that now there's a little bit more. There's uh, some links over here for recent uh, archive categories. There's no categories yet. And there's no post yet either. So we've created a blog page, but we don't actually have any blog post. So I'm also going to go ahead and show you how to actually create blog posts and add them to your blog page. And this page, like I said, is going to look different depending what theme you have, but the functions will be the same. So let's go back to the uh, dashboard by clicking our name. And now you see that there's an option here called post. So we're going to click on post. And here we have our post. So we can add a new post. And this new post will automatically go to our blog page. So let's add a new post so we can write, hello everyone. That is the title. And then we can add content. Uh, so we can write like, welcome, whoops, welcome to my website. And we can also use WordPress to add pictures. If you want to add a picture to your post, you can click the little plus sign up here. And there's a ton of things you can add images, headings, a list, a gallery, audio, um, a file, 
Uh, if you check here, there's more stuff. List uh, for formatting. There's different kind of tables, um, HTML, different layouts for plugins that you might have installed, widgets. So there's a ton of stuff you can add to your post. Um, and you can explore that little by little. So let's just click to add an image. And I can upload an image or select from my media library. I'm going to select one from my library. And uh, just to show you what this is going to look like, let's put this palm tree. All right, so there is the palm tree. Um, and I'm going to add a caption to it. Nice and sunny. All right, perfect. And we can click publish. And this will automatically publish this new post to our blog page. So if you go now to our website again, and we click on blog, you see that now there's this new post. Hello everyone, welcome to my website, nice and sunny. It's like a little preview. And if we click continue reading, it will open up to show the entire post. There's the whole post with our image and some more information. Uh, we can also add a featured image so that here in the blog, it doesn't look so plain. So let me show you how to do that. We can go back to our dashboard. And we go back to post. And we can edit, uh, trash, or view our post. I'm going to click edit to edit it. And there's a couple of things that we can do to enhance our post. One of them is, like I said, add a featured image so that in the blog page it has a picture. To do that, you're going to go right here to where it says featured image under document. If you have blocks, it might not show. Make sure it's under document, featured image. And we can set a featured image. And I'm just going to pick one from my website. Uh, let's do this one. Set featured image. So this will be the front page image. It'll show... Uh, in a preview before you even get to the blog post. Now categories, you can also add different categories to your post. So uh, a way to use categories, let's see if this will load up here. There you go. A way to use categories, for example, would be um, you can have uh, different categories for the kinds of posts that you have. Uh, so for example, you can have a category for technology or a category for shopping or a category for pets. Uh, if you're a bakery, you could have a category for pastries and a category for drinks. Um, if you're a mechanic shop, you could have a category for trucks and a category for cars and a category for bikes. So you can organize uh, your posts into different categories. So I can click add a new category and this can be a uh, beach, for example, right? And all my posts that are about beach will go into this category and I can click add new category. And that will add it and automatically be checked in. Um, I could also add, for example, water as a category. And you can add whatever categories you want. And your blog post can be in more than one category, or it can be in none, and then it'll be uncategorized. So I'm gonna just going to check beach to make sure it's in the beach category. Um, you can also add tags if you want to make it even more detailed, um, like a, a tag for what your post is about. Um, and then you can also, under discussion, you can choose whether or not you want people to be able to leave comments on your post. I'm going to leave them checked. So if somebody wants to leave a comment, they can leave a comment. And once you've done those things, you can click update. And that will save those options. And now if we go back to our website, we can see the post. Right here in the blog page. So we can see now there's a featured image, there's a title, there's our text, and if we click to read more, you see that it opens up and it gives you the additional image or whatever additional content you could add, and then here's the option to leave a comment. So that is how you make uh, a blog page and add a blog post. Now I can also show you how to customize this side right here. You can add little toggles and settings um, to this right uh, sidebar right here. Uh, to do that, you're going to go to your website again, to the dashboard. And again, that sidebar might look different depending what theme you have. So to do that, you're going to go to widgets and widgets. 
is under appearances widgets and then you see here it says default sidebar and here you can choose what things are gonna show we have a, a search recent posts recent comments archives categories and meta um, but if we go I'm gonna open this in a new tab uh, let's see what shows up currently on our sidebar for our blog all right let's click right there we have recent posts recent comments archives categories and metadata which I think is that the same as this categories yes it's the same so this default sidebar is the one that we're using right now there's a search bar now you can uh, delete things from here so for example you can delete uh, recent comments let's say you don't want the comments to show up in the sidebar you could delete that and maybe you don't want uh, maybe you want uh, the categories to be shown before the recent post so you could drag and drop that to the top and maybe we want to delete this metadata so people don't have don't see like a login button and things like that so let's go see how that looks now let's refresh here and we can see that now categories is first recent post is next so guys that is how you add a blog to your website if you have any question leave it in the comments down below if you need any help you can also contact me on my website icreateyoursite.com have an excellent day.